Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Riz Show presented by the Fast Lane. Joining us, Mr. Kevin Farley. Right. Hey, hey, how are you, folks? It's great to see you again. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're a second timer now. I know, right? How does it feel? Oh, you know, it's good. I like, you know, last time I was here, I loved it. It was, it's a great place to come in, in the Funny Bone. It's such a great club. And uh, it's just a nice place to do comedy, you know, Los here. Los Angeles is, mid, you know, nice Midwestern city. And they're smart people, and so they get the joke. So it's it's great. I love coming here. It's a great, mm, great saying, comedy town. Keep saying nice things about us. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> that's very good. No, you know, Our I mean, cuisine is exquisite, too. Huh? Listen, mm -hmm. there's nothing. Yeah, you, you, you know, you've got good food. You've got good music. You've got good comedy. What's there not to like about St. Louis? I love St. Louis. Uh, We've got good uh, selections I mean, in cowboy hats as well. You do as, have as a you, lot. As you've noticed. Lots, <clears throat> lots of cowboy hats here. I, you know, you've got <laughs> yeah, Kevin walked in. He's like, is this a hat store? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was no, trying no. on hats, Kevin, because I'm going to a uh, country western themed event on Sunday. Oh, that ought to be fun. You can do some line dancing. You ever do that? Uh... No, I've never, I've never put on a pair of cowboy boots before. Oh, you never have? This is my, this is my first oh. time today. Not sure you're gonna like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to I don't know. Up. You know, some people take to it, I guess. But I, I, I had a pair and I wore them a couple times and then I put them away. I don't know. I'm not a. Yeah, they're heavy. They're these heavy. are very comfortable. Yeah. What size you know, for you? Oh, I'm a 12 oh, wide. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big. On. But it didn't translate into my actual height. You know, I'm kind of like a hobbit that way. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of, a big hairy foot, but short. Well, you, you seem know? like you seem like a guy that owns many cowboy hats. Oh, no. Yeah. I have hats because I'm bald, but no cowboy hats. I don't know. I, I, I you know, they're big and I, I, I have tried to wear them. I thought at one point I did go through like a cowboy hat phase, and then I kept bumping my head, and it would come uh. down on my face, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and the brim would hit into my eye, and uh, I'd the be kind like, of comedy oh. you weren't looking yeah, for. Yeah, exactly, and I look goofy right away, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> but I don't know from, how to wear these things. Being from Wisconsin, I bet you have a cheese head at home. <clears throat> I do, I do. <laughs> I think that comes with the citizenry, uh, you know. <laughs> And you get a you get a real cheese. If you start to live in in Wisconsin, you get a cheese head. I have a cheese mug too, and I have a cheese uh, cup holder. I you know those the same kind mm -hmm. of things. I have all those things. And yeah. you live in a house of cheese. And I do Made yeah. completely. Of I really enjoy cheese. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean people make fun of cheese heads, and I'm like, do you like cheese? And they go, yeah. I'm like, well, okay then. That's a good argument. Right. right. <laughs> we went to uh, Wisconsin for the first time uh, over the winter break. Took the kids skiing. Yeah. Um, went to the Dells. Oh yeah, the there Dells is go. cool. Cool that place. I love the Dells. Weird. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, but it's, it's cool. Like, it's akin to Branson. Mm -hmm. it, it sort of is. Yeah, you have a lot of water parks. A lot of great water parks. We used to go to the Noah's Ark up there. The restaurant. Know. Like the Noah's Ark restaurant? The Noah's Ark is a water park up in oh, the Dells. Okay. Yeah. There are so many water parks that we passed, and uh, the kid's like, are we going to stop at a water park? and go, no, you don't deserve it. <laughs> you don't deserve it. You know, the you kids get a little excited. The they get excited when they go to the Dells. Yeah, we, we went skiing. Uh, there's a couple, you know. Oh, there's a skyline, right? There's a couple mountains. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forget what it is. Cascade Mountain. Uh, Christmas Mountain, I think, went to winter. Christmas Mountain. I used to ski that all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, as a kid, I used to ski there all they the time. They didn't tell me that when I went. Well, they should have my picture up there. I don't know why they don't, I don't, know why they don't have that. <laughs> no, I took the kids skiing there. And, of course, when we when we go to Wisconsin in January, it's 45 degrees. Yeah. Your it's luck. weird. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh boo. We, his phone's going off. Oh, yeah. Now oh, we have to shoot with the airsoft gun. That. That's, <laughs> That's the water park saying thanks Who's for the bugging me at this hour? <laughs> my God. But, no, on the way on the way up, uh, there was a sign that says, uh, next exit, world's largest culvers. Yeah. Oh, really? Because it started up there in Wisconsin. And I was, I was yeah. tempted. World's largest? World's biggest culvers. Wow. On the way back, I'm like, oh, my God, it's calling me. Yeah, a lot of Do you butter, ever go there? Do butter culvers? Uh, we have a culvers here. Oh, it's a so couple good. culvers. Oh, I love God. It. I love it. Butter burger. Those cheese curds they fry in. Oh, yeah, cheese curds. <laughs> Do you ever get a butter burger and then like a custard on yeah. top of it? Yeah. And then you, you feel probably lower than you've ever felt. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you're like, I'm... 
I'm actually uh, a disgusting person. Uh, <laughs> it's a good way to fill up. No, you, you yeah, it's it's a special kind of uh, self hatred after you <laughs> after you go get a custard and a butter burger at Culver's. No, I, no, I, I didn't go to the world's biggest Culver's. I was I was very you didn't. Tempted. No, why not? Because I'm sure it's the same Culver's as here, except bigger. The food but bigger. is the same size. Right. Yeah, I would say like size. if you're at the biggest Culver's, you should give the biggest custards out. That's you what know, you think. double the size. They need a gimmick like that. Yeah. Yeah, need. yeah. We're the biggest Culvers. We get the biggest burger. We get double the size of burger. We did stay. We we stayed in an Airbnb up there uh, at the Dells, and so we went <coughs> we went food shopping. You know, we're gonna cook uh, at the house, and everybody's like, "Well, when you, when you go to the grocery store, you have to get cheese curds." Yeah. You have to get like the raw ones. Yeah. Oh, you mean the non fried ones? The non fried ones. Yeah, the squeaky ones. And and that's the whole thing is man, they squeak in your mouth when you eat them. They do. And they're great. That's not a great selling point. Uh, <laughs> they were delicious though, but they it was are weird. They're weird. It's squeaky and, and you feel like you're eating rubber. But you know. <laughs> yeah. Wow, cool. Double down the But it's weird. It's I, I just remember, I think as a kid, I used to eat them all the time, so I'm used to it. But I suppose for an outsider, it's a little weird, yeah. They're squeaky. The little chunks of squeaky cheese. Delicious, though. And you buy them and by the great. bag. I, you know, we always yeah, get yeah. them on road trips when we're oh, driving yeah. through. And you just buy a big bag of squeaky cheese, and then you just go ahead. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> you eat the whole eat bag, you right? You can refrigerate them. You got to eat the whole bag. It was you so got to eat the whole bag. Yeah. You, you do. can eat them cold. You could like, somewhat melt them. You could put them on fries. Man. No, so they're versatile. really versatile cheese when you think about it. You know, Wisconsin's got all those places. It's got the best cheese in the world. And I do. Now you're getting me kind of hungry yeah. for cheese. <laughs> I gave up cheese because i gave up dairy for i'm trying to lose weight and it's really hurting like it stinks oh, Dude, cheese like is it. the hardest thing to get <clears throat> it's for, so for hard me. to give up for no me too. Uh, yeah and dairy too i'm like i like all dairy but cheese is a killer you yeah. know because they always go you want some cheese on that and i go i do but i not supposed to now <laughs> was this like a doctor's orders kind of thing no my own thing you know i thought because i'm eating a lot of cheese <laughs> yeah. it's the easiest you know, thing to eat it's yeah. just to grab it and yeah eat it. yeah and i was like okay well, i'm gonna give up carbs for lent you know i'm catholic yeah, so yeah. I, I gave up carbs and i gave up uh um sugar and dairy wow yeah and it's tough yeah yeah. All, all at the same time. Man, I don't oh, know about the cheese. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I do that? <laughs> well, I, was gonna gonna I already promised God, and I'm going to get struck by lightning if I don't. <laughs> it's too late to turn back. Well, I was yeah. going to ask you to go to Culver's after with me, because if you bring somebody from Wisconsin with you to Culver's, you get a free custard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that I don't know if that's true or not. That almost seems like it could be true. Yeah. Well, people know I'm from Wisconsin, so they might that might work. Culver's is expanding. God, we have Culver's. I live in Florida now. They have Culver's down there now. That's a that's an expanding business. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's tough. You did give up, you know, carbs for for Lent because you know Terrible. St. Louis. Uh, since we're in Lent now, uh, yeah. Friday fish fries at the churches. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Thanks. Yeah, we used to hit those as a kid. My dad would go all oh, the Friday fish fries. Yeah, I don't know if they, they do. They have those still in uh, oh, yeah. St. Louis. There's oh. a Catholic contingent here. Oh, there's like a, there's like a map. And there's oh, there's specialty good. places. Oh, God, the God's it. Cod is something. I go for the God's Cod. I go for the God's Cod. He's been preaching about it for five, six years I now. It. I love good. the God's Cod. Oh, they have drive through yeah. ones. So you, I you mess up, up on that fish thing all the time. I have to go to confessions or something because I mess up and I'll be eating like a burger and it's Friday and I'm like, oh, oops. I miss up on that. That's I don't know, for those who aren't Catholic. You're not supposed to eat meat on Friday during Lent. I mess it up. Well, if you go for the God's cod, all is forgiven. I know, right? And it's <laughs> it good. says if you want to confession. <laughs> it says exactly. that on, on the menu there. I'll go, I'll hit the God's cod twice and it'll erase <laughs> it'll erase my burger that I had earlier. <laughs> no, because they they have like specialty ones. Like you can go for like a Mexican version yeah. of the fish fry yeah. uh, down at South City. Uh, oh, they do. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. Oh yeah, there's like, yeah. A, there's like a map. You, there is. You got all the options. Oh yeah. Say, well, we no. are a food city. It is a great food city, and ribs here too. Oh yeah. 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 No, I. You know, it's bad that it's falling. My little trip to St. Louis is falling during my time yeah. of uh, atonement here, because <laughs> you know, outside of Lent, I'd be going a little nuts. Yeah. This is <laughs> this is a good food city. It's a great food city. One of the best. My. God, it's oh, a and great you're going to be up at Streets of St. Charles too over the weekend. There's some yeah, food great there. stuff over there. Oh yeah, you know you got it all here. Mexican, you've got ribs, you got everything here. Oh man, just hang. No, it is self control. 
I can't. <laughs> uh, you got this. Self control is definitely this. not uh, in the Farley uh, uh, personality. Uh, Kevin Farley, Funny Bone Westport tonight, seven thirty, nine thirty. Streets of St. Charles tomorrow, nine thirty, because the seven o'clock show is sold out. Uh, yep. Sunday, seven o'clock. Yeah. Um, did you hear? And and before we get to, because we're gonna play a little game with you, if you don't mind. Oh, that's fine. Are you up to date on shots? Shots. <laughs> Shots. You mean like liquor <laughs> <laughs> or vaccination? Vaccination. Both. Did you uh, did you yeah. listen to your uh, your brother and mom on uh, Fly on the Wall? Uh, with I know, Carver, parts David of it. Made. Parts of it. Yeah, they were wonderful. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't see all of it, but yeah, I did hear that they were on Spade's uh, podcast. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. If you guys haven't heard that, uh, they did a special about, uh, you know, Kevin's brother, Chris. Yeah, because yeah, Dave did a special with Dana Carvey on Chris. Yeah. It was it was really good. And your oh, brother and your mom were on. Oh, that's cool. And I think it was the interview that kind of led off the whole the whole thing. And it was, man. That's great. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that they went on there. And I'm glad Spade had him on there. That's kind of nice. How, yeah. how old is your mom? Oh, she's up there now. She's like 86. And she sounded... She's pretty sharp. sharp. Yeah. No, my, you know, we've got some longevity in my, my family. All, they all get up there pretty high, like, you know, so, I mean, unless I destroy my body. Got, <laughs> but yeah, my mom's 86, so she's, but she's still sharp. She's doing well. Yeah. yeah she's sounded great on that podcast. Good. I'm glad, you know, you know, it's good. You know, she takes care of herself. Yeah. And she's probably cool. still eating cheese too. I mean, to be no, honest. she loves a lot of cheese. Yeah, <laughs> so that's a good sign. But yeah. Uh, all right, so I want to uh, I want to give away some stuff. So we have tickets to go see uh, uh, Muse, which is Kevin's favorite band. Sure uh, is. Muse with Evanescence, uh, March fifth. They're 5th my at Muse. Uh, we also we also have tickets for Point Fest, Point Fest twenty twenty three with uh, Kevin's other favorite band, Incubus. Oh yeah. yeah. And his third favorite band, Code in Cambria. <laughs> Uh, Pretty Reckless, uh, Bad Omens, Bad Flower, Greek Fire, White Reaper, and more. Saturday, May 27th at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. We might as well call it Kevin Fest because all your favorite bands are there. (laughs) My favorite is White Reaper. (laughs) Wait a minute. That's a great name. I don't make up these names. Can you imagine those guys hanging around going, what what about White Reaper? Yeah, sure, sure. Look good on a t-shirt. Looks good. good. Looks good. So we are going to play Just the Two of Us. So here's, oh, oh. here's the game. Okay. Kevin will always be playing. So you guys okay. on the phone will pick a Riz Show member. Myself, Moon, Mike, or King Scott to play with Kevin. I will ask five questions. You will write your answers down. Oh, right here? If we match three of our five answers, listener on the phone wins. Simple as that. Oh. So all of us have to, three of us have to match the answer. Just to, no, to you. So the, okay. the listener on the phone will pick another Rich Show member. You're mm-hmm. always playing. I'm always playing. Okay. And if three of our five answers match, they win the ticket. Oh, good. All so right. simple as that. Kind of like match game, right? Yep. Kind of yeah. like that. Lock it yeah. up. Okay. But, but, you know, we call it, it just the two of us because right. we can't use match game. That's already <laughs> yeah, <right, sir. laughs> uh, Today's game is sponsored by T.R. Hughes, half acre new home sites in Wentzville and five acre new home sites in St. Charles. Visit trhughes.com. All right, let's go to the phones. And we've got uh, Sloan in O'Fallon. Sloan, good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy birthday, Rich. Thanks, buddy. Uh, say hi to Kevin. Hey, Kevin, what's up? I'm good, Sloan. How are you? My man. All right, uh, pick, uh, pick a ratio member. Let's go, you, Riz. All right. So it's me and Kevin playing, just two of us. So just write your answer down. We'll go over them at the end. Sounds good. And uh, let's see if we uh, let's see if we match up here. All right, Kevin, name a popular board game. Mm-hmm. Name a popular board game. You guys write your answers down, too, just okay. to, for fun. Right. Got it. All right. I definitely think somebody's going to. Name a popular comedy TV series. All right. Name an outdoor activity. Name something associated with vampires. And name a common candy bar component. (laughs) All right. So we just have to match three of the five. I have faith that you guys will get this. Yeah, this is I easy. think we're going to be good. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so Moon's going to count down three, two, one. When he says one, we'll say our answer at the same time to see if we match. Good. Okay, name a popular board game. Three, Monop- two, one. Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, I, uh, I know you're I anxious. jumped the shark. That was the right answer. That's what I had to. Yep. Yep. Monopoly, Monopoly is the right Monopoly. answer. Monopoly. Uh, yeah, name a popular right comedy TV series. Three, two, one. Seinfeld. Friends. Damn it. Oh. Those were the two. Those were the two. More of a Friends guy, huh? No, I'm more of a Seinfeld guy. I thought you, you guys were on Kirby Enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> you were actually on Kirby Enthusiasm. I was, yes. <laughs> Who said Kirby? You did? No, but I mean Seinfeld, Larry Seinfeld, David. There's those a connection are the best. There. All right. All right, name an outdoor activity. Three, two, one. Hiking. Frisbee. <laughs> yeah, Nobody would say uh. Frisbee. Nobody would say Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? I had, I had football for that. I had hiking. I had, I had hiking. camping. That's close to We're hiking. We're just talking about cheese heads. I figured, you know, Packers fan. Yeah. Can be football. All Name right. something associated with vampires. Three, two, one. Fang. Blood suckling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Slow, and you lose. I said Dracula. Yeah. Nobody yeah, else? I, said fangs. I had fangs down. So. Fangs. Fangs. Mm -hmm. and, and just for fun, Sloan lost. Uh, name a common candy bar component. Three, two, one. Chocolate. Peanuts. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Nuts. Jeez. William, one. Brendan. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, pick somebody. All right, we're going to do Wish.com Christian Bale, a.k.a. Moon. That's me. Moon, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wish.com Christian Bale. I okay. appreciate that. That's yeah. still a compliment. Thank All right, you. write your answers down. All right. Name a state that has a lot of sports teams. All right. Okay, in a horror movie, name a place teenagers go where there's always a killer on the loose. Name a Marvel Avenger. Name a country with a large population. And name an occupation that begins with the letter J. Kevin, how are you feeling about this? I actually think this is going to be good. <laughs> you do? Oh, I okay. think uh, we're going to win. I like the confidence. Oh, man, That's great. a tough list for yeah, me. Yeah, no, this are, these are easier. All right, Mike, you count this down. These All are right. easier? You guys ready? All right. All right. Name a state that has a lot of sports teams. Three, two, one. New Chicago. York. <laughs> no way. I was going to say New York, too, but, but I thought you guys are closer to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> we don't root for any... Cubs fans. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. In horror movies, name a place teenagers go where there's always a killer on the loose. Three, two, one. A the lake. barn. Oh, I thought it was upstairs. I didn't know which one. I was like, lake, Cemetery. Lake oh, Summer camp. That's a that's much better answer. Summer camp. Yeah, that's yeah. a good answer. Got to sweep out here. I, th I think one. you guys got a chance. Come on. Uh, name a Marvel Avenger. Three, two, one. The Captain Hulk. America. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Those were the two. I thought Hulk, and then I said... This Iron Man. Disaster. You run for Iron Man, <laughs> the you? same guy? The Hulk. Does anybody like the Hulk? Sorry, Brendan. I do like the Hulk. Sorry, Brendan, you lost. <laughs> well, I figured you were up for Iron Man, so... Let's see I we like go, Iron Man. Let's see if we go zero for five. Uh, right. Name a country with a large population. Three, two, one. China. USA. China. China. China is That's the answer. Come oh. on. Yes. Oh, we have a large population as well, and I was Not thinking like Captain China. America. Not like China. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, name an occupation that begins with the letter J. Three, two, one. Janitor. You lost. <laughs> I thought you guys would say javelin thrower. <laughs> javelin thrower. That's good. That's not a bad one. All right, Jared. Pick a sorry, racial member. Jared. All right. Hey, guys. I'm going to go with Mike. Oh, Mike. Thank you. All right. It's Mike and Kevin. Here we go. Just the two of us. Name something associated with cowboys. Give me an accent that many Americans consider sexy. In which country do people speak Spanish? Who is the most popular character on the TV show Friends? <laughs> hey, I should know that. <laughs> oh, that's tough. And give me a word that rhymes with buckle. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a word that rhymes with buckle. I like our chances here, Kevin. Yeah, you guys yeah, this got is this. Good. This is good. This is right, easy as round so good. far. All right. Playing for Jared here. I think my word might be 
not good, but okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe don't, you can maybe bleep me out, matter. right? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Name something associated with cowboys. Three, Hor two, oh. one. Horses. Hor I was going to say hats. I could have cheated there, but yeah. oh, I got Lord. it. Hats are right in front of hats between us here. I know. I put boots. Guys. I put boots. Horses isn't wrong. It's You're just not ruining right. everybody. <laughs> uh, which accent do many Americans consider sexy? Three, two, one. English. <laughs> English is the right answer. English no, is French sexy. is the right answer. Yeah, I had well, French. Are you kidding? French. Zé vous plaît, we will. Oh, oh, see, no. I was thinking now British. we're in trouble again. Yeah, yeah, we got to do or die here. here. We got to right, do or die. This one is, guys, this is easy. You got this. In which country do people speak Spanish? Three, two, one. Spain. Spain. Oh. <laughs> oh, Spain is the answer. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to clear this. I thought we had every one. <laughs> Sorry, Jared. Wow. <laughs> wow. Spain is probably a better answer for Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Most popular character on Friends. Three, two, one. Chandler. Phoebe. Rachel. <laughs> I had Russ. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, Rachel is the right answer. I couldn't think. <laughs> All right, a word that rhymes with buckle. Three, two, one. Suckle. Knuckle. <laughs> Suckle. That's a good one. Oh, I didn't we think didn't of say suckle. vampires. Zero. Suckle. Wow, we zeroed Zero. it out. <laughs> it just goes to show oh, you man. never know. <laughs> What a disaster. <laughs> These poor people are sitting at home going, this is a terrible game. Nobody's going to go see White Reaper. <laughs> no one's going to see White Reaper. And they wanted to. Uh, Adam, hello. How you doing? All right, pick somebody. Uh, Scott. All right, King say, Scott. You may as well go with Scott. All right. None of us we are got good this. at this. Scott, yeah. you ready? All right. All right, Kevin, we're on the same wavelength. Go here. Uh, okay. All right. Name a carnival ride. A carnival ride. An animal that starts with the letter M. An animal that starts with the letter M. What's something you never leave home without? Uh. <laughs> What's a vegetable you would grow in your vegetable garden? And name something you'd use to write. I think we're one five for five. <laughs> uh, was, this could be good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Buckle up. You never know. I mean, if we're off on this, then. All right, Moon, you cut it down. I will. All right, name a carnival ride. Three, two, one. Ferris, Ferris wheel. Whirl. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did he say? Ferris, he wheel? Ferris, Ferris wheel? That's probably better. <laughs> An animal that starts with the letter M. Three, two, one. Moose. Monkey. <laughs> no, monkey. Darn it. <laughs> This is moose fun. is a good answer, though. Yeah, moose is way better than about monkey. Oh, He's no. from the north. I know. I apologize. Oh, uh, no. Something you would never leave home without. Three, two, one. Wallet. Keys. Oh, I had keys as well. Lord, oh. yeah. I had phone. I had wallet. Nobody said phone. Yeah, that's true. But uh, sorry, Adam. <laughs> sorry, <Wow>. Adam. <laughs> Another loser. <laughs> <laughs> we have done nothing. <laughs> A vegetable you would grow in your vegetable garden. Three, two, one. Tomato. Look at us cheer for consolation. So, yes. Great. <laughs> uh, something you'd use to write. Three, two, one. Pen. Pen. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, God. God. Can you change the rules? God, God, no, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> man, you guys are harsh. <laughs> yes. I thought maybe you'd bend the rules a little bit. These are big tickets. I guess not. Uh, Josiah. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, uh, morning Josiah. You sound serious. Yeah. Give me somebody. Uh, let's go with our hero, Scott Rizzuto. Okay, here we go. All right. Kevin, you and I. All right. This is our uh, our final contestant here. I think it's me. I've destroyed this game. No, you're doing great. No, you're doing great. Okay. okay. Name a fruit you have to peel before you eat. No, we can't get this. <laughs> Name something that needs gas to operate. Oh, man, come on. Throwing out the softballs. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Name a sport where you have to swing something. Oh, okay. <laughs> This guy's a winner for sure. Name a food that you order to be delivered when you don't feel like cooking. Oh. And name a fast food restaurant. Oh, <laughs> Oh, 
Well, this ought to really. Um, five, four, five. You know what? Yeah. If we go Should five, be. If we go five for five here, I'll give Josiah all the prizes. Wow. Okay. Hey. Wow, Josiah. For both, both things. If you go five for five. If we go five for five. Okay. Well, <laughs> we should. We should. <laughs> Name a fruit you have to peel before you eat. Three, two, one. Banana. Oh, oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Guy. Now, come on. The banana with in view. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Orange, you surprised? He didn't say banana? Oh, Mike, oh, stop. No. Nice, Mike. Nice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, so, listen, <laughs> he's, he can still win tickets, just not all of them. Wow. It's okay. It's okay. That's all the tickets are off the table. <laughs> well, this next one's for sure. Name something that needs gas to operate. Three, two, one. Car. Car. Yeah. Oh, hey. I thought one of you guys was going to say lawnmower. Yeah, I was biting my nails on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say lawnmower. Uh, name a sport you have to swing something. Right. Three, two, one. Baseball. Baseball. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we may have a winner we here, guys, winner. on this one. We hey, two left. All you have to do is finally, get one more. Poor people. Name a food that you order to be delivered when you don't feel like cooking. Three, two, one. Pizza. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling he was going to go sideways on that one. I don't know why. Uh, I like that answer, though. That's a good answer. Jeez. <laughs> well, All right, it comes I, down well, to this. This is for sure. It comes out of this. This is for sure. I don't know anymore. <laughs> no, this is for sure. If gonna, this doesn't gonna, happen, gonna, then I will. I don't know, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Let me get in my stance here. Name a fast food restaurant. Three, two, one. Goldbatters. Oh, oh, no. no. Holy yeah. smokes. We decided. I knew you were going to say Culver's. Because we talked much. about it. Oh, man. But McDonald's is like in front of everyone. <laughs> Look, I have McDonald's scratched it out. <laughs> Culver's. Oh, no, guys. What a disastrous <laughs> morning. Good. Well, guys, we've... We've actually hurt people this morning. <laughs> Sadistic. <laughs> and inadvertently damaged people. <laughs> we've given away no tickets. So I no. am sorry. I'm record. coming here. A new record. And I got a new record. <laughs> uh, ladies I have destroyed <laughs> this game. Kevin Farley, Sia Meadow, oh, Funny Bone, Westport tonight, 7.30, 9.30, Streets of St. Charles tomorrow, 9.30, uh, 7 o'clock show sold out uh, wow. Sunday at 7. I apologize <laughs> no, that was really to the awesome. city of St. Louis <laughs> and to all people that were playing. Oh, by the way, uh, before you leave, since you're here the second time, yeah. congratulations, Look, Kevin we, Farley, we an official uh, second this? timer Kevin certificate. Hey. Very important yeah. award. Second timers, right? Nice. That's right. <laughs> that sounds really kind of dirty, but you know, whatever. <laughs> there it is. Hey, all right. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm going to keep this and frame it. Oh, there you go. yeah. That's, second that's, timer club. Why not? Much appreciated. Yeah, that's appreciated. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Mr. Kevin Farley. Hey, let's make it a third. You Let's do it a third got time. A third timer certificate yeah, too when you come yeah, back. Yeah, I love it. Feel free to take Cowboy. And I apologize for uh, <laughs> destroying that game. Nah, yeah, take Cowboy out with have you. Have some good shows right, this weekend. See you later. Thanks, guys. The great Kevin Farley.